Zespół Spandau Ballet tytułowa piosenka z albumu True przez 4 tygodnie numer 1 w Wielkiej Brytanii w 1983 roku. A teraz zapraszam Was w programie Nie Żyje Bal na spotkanie z naszym gościem. Dzisiaj jest nim Maisie Williams, wokalistka zespołu Bonnie M. First, I want to tell I'm a big uh, Bonnie M fan. Okay. I, I remember first time you were in Poland in 1979 at Sopot right. Festival. That's right. That's right. Uh, do you remember anything uh, from this concert? Well, I remember it was quite um, fascinating because yeah. we didn't realize we had um, so many fans in Poland at the time. And um, that was still early days of Oniem. For all of us, it yeah. was a great event. Yeah, so um, for us, it was um, sort of like an honor to be here. And um, at that time in our life, you know, beginning of our career, more or less, Mm -hmm. And to know that um, we were so well received, because I remember it was a fabulous concert. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, the band was known for its unusual outfits, stage outfits. Oh yeah. Uh, was it your idea, or maybe were specially designed? Oh well, what it was um, mainly because Bonium was um, the type of group that it wasn't just to do with the mu it was to do with image, music, yeah. and um, presentation. So that was very important to us mm -hmm. to. Um, to have a good image on stage. Um, I think that goes with the music, yeah. you know? And um, that was part of Bonium, good image, which was great um, flamboyant, crazy costumes, glitter yeah. and all that. So that was our idea, yes, along with um, our um, record company and mm -hmm. our producer, Frank Farian. Yeah. We got together and um, we kind of discussed what we should wear for what type of concerts or songs or, or songs. whatever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, what's the difference between uh, today's audience and audience from 70s, 80s? Is today more spontaneous? Do you know the strangest thing? Audience has not changed. Yeah. No, I think everyone um, going back from the 70s yeah. up to now respond to music the same way as they've always done, even going back further than that, to be honest. So I think audience has not changed. I think people respond to music the same today as they did then, um, as long as they, um, it's what they want to hear. And Do you know that Rasputin was uh, forbidden in the Polish TV? Um, no, I didn't. No. I know it was forbidden um, yeah. in, in Russia when we went to Russia in, um, in the 70s. I mean, we were, everyone was playing, they were playing it yeah. and singing to it in all the cafeterias and all that. Yeah. But we were not allowed to perform it on stage. Yeah. And uh, we couldn't understand why, because if they were singing it and they loved it, and that was the reason why we were invited to <laughs> Russia. <laughs> But I, I, I guess that's, that's um, uh. their way of doing things. Uh, which Bonnie M album is your favorite? Favorite? Oh wow! Mine um, is Ocean of Fantasy. Ocean of Fantasy. Yes. Do you know what? That, I think that is also one of my favorite. Yeah. Ocean of Fantasy. I, I like Aluta. I like Gotta Go Home. Yeah. I, I like um, Who Rates a Holiday. Yes. And Bahama Mama. Yes. There's yeah. some there's some lovely tracks on that on that album actually. I think that's when Bonnie M started maturing into much more sophisticated mm -hmm. type um, songs. Um, um, the production was a lot more sophisticated and um, the lyrics was more sophisticated mm -hmm. as well. But by saying that, I, I also do like the early albums, you know, like um, Take Night the Heat Flight Off Me and Night Flight oh. to Venus um, and Love for Sale, mm -hmm. because they had songs on, on them that is still today is what people are still singing to, like Rivers yeah. of Babylon and, um, you know, and Brown Girl in the Ring. and. Who rates a holiday, Daddy Cool? Career, yeah. So um, yeah, I think I think it's very difficult for me to say. I just like that particular one. I do like um, uh, um, Ocean of Fantasy, mm -hmm. but I do like the um, the first ones as well. Yeah. <laughs>